Hey everybody, good afternoon. Welcome back to my channel. And as you can see, the mail came. <laughs> my favorite time of day. <laughs> uh, so we got some small shop packages. I'm not gonna turn around, it has my address. Uh, if you ever need my address for any reason to mail me anything, just email me. But I'm, I'm not gonna show it to the world. So two packages from small shops and two diamond paintings from aliexpress so let's start with the small shops first i did cut everything i didn't even check what was inside i just cut everything open so the first one is from putty ella mud if there's a business card inside, I will show you. But such cute um, bubble mailer. I got my fruit bowl, my watermelon, and my cherries. It's lunch for me, even though it's 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And I have my pumpkin spice cheesecake latte coffee. Very, very good. So if you hear me munching, I'm, I'm starving, so I'm trying to get, I'm trying to eat some of these watermelons. My apologies. So, so uh, a note from the small shop. During the summer months, your putty may arrive too soft to work with. Please place putty in the fridge for five minutes and it should be good to go. Thanks again for your order and support. Here's my, um, hi Adrian, thank you so much for your order and you're supporting my small shop. Take care, D. Her name is D. Um, and do we have a business card? Oh, here's the name of the shop. Put yellow mud. So. Comes up wrapped up and decorated so beautifully in this tissue paper. It's almost a shame to like open it up and destroy it. But I want to see my stuff. So she sent some stickers. Look how cute. It's like a little makeup brush. You know me, I'm in the beauty. And I'm an artist, so a little koala with a paintbrush and a peach. Lovely. I love it. Thank you. And so I ordered only one thing to start. I think I might have went back this morning or yesterday and ordered some... I, I don't know if I ordered more from a shop. I'm losing track on which shop, small shops I'm ordering from. Ever since I've been on vacation, I've been going on a small shop, like, um, binge. And I've been ordering, like, putty, different putties. Sorry, I'm chewing my watermelon, you guys. So, this one is called Unicorn Farts. I think it's hilarious. Um... So I'm assuming the unicorn farts, from what I remember in the picture, was the rainbow one. Look at that. And it's a nice chunk. Smells absolutely delightful. Smells like fruity. Like, very fruity. It's hard. It's got like, it smells a little bit like cherry and like an artificial fruit bowl. I love it. If a unicorn farted, that's what it would smell like. And it looks like I may have gotten a sample or maybe some extra because it smells the same and it's rainbow, but it's marble. So I don't know if this is extra, if this is an extra gift, I don't know. She sends two. I was on, on the assumption she only sends this one big slab. So um, if this is extra, I mean, I doubt she's watching this because no, I don't think any companies watch my channels. But um, thank you. Thank you so much for the the extra putty. I can use it because I I dip and dip and dip and dip. So and I'm not really concerned about putting it in the fridge. Um, quite frankly, um, my other putties that I am reviewing at the moment, I'm testing out from um, Mary Mud. Um, they, I mean, my house has air conditioning but it's we're, we are on a top floor so it tends to be a little bit warmer than normal up here and my muds have been very soft but I love it because then the multi placer and the single placer just cuts right through it like butter I don't need it to be stiff and this little diamond you guys I think this is a cover minder 
This is like an itty bitty cover minder. Look how cute that is. And to think I almost threw this away. I don't use cover minders anymore um, because I just use release papers, but it doesn't mean I don't like collecting cover minders. I still like to collect them. If I see a really cute one that's fairly priced, I, I, I won't be hesitant to buy it. Um, but this is so very pretty. Thank you so very much. I, I appreciate it. This will go on my cover minder stash. You never know. Maybe one day I'll, just like I stop using the glue dots, maybe I'll go back to cover minders. Who knows? All right. Oh, and I didn't tell you the price, you guys. I'm losing my touch. First, let's have another piece of watermelon. And for your info, guys, I as I am skimming through all my orders, I did place an order from Puttyella. I think I ordered three new scented putties from her. Um, they were all running out of stock, I believe, so I just I, I, I just scooped them up. Um, oh, here it is. Unicorn Farts from Putty Ella Mud. And I paid... Where's the price? I think they're all the same price. Six dollars and thirty cents, I believe, because they all look like they're all her putties are the same price, um, except there is one on there for seven dollars. Um, you do pay for shipping um, with this company if I can find the shipping. I think it was like three or four. Most of them have all been there on the same price for shipping, about three or four dollars, you guys. I paid eleven dollars total for this putty. So, anyways, next. So, thank you, Putty Ella Mud, um, for the wonderful little extra touches in my package. I really, really appreciate it. On to the next one. This one I'm super excited about. Let me, um put it up on my laptop I got a little candy and this is a soft mint these these and the cotton candy ones the soft candies are my absolute favorite I have like a five pound bucket of the um, cotton candy soft um, candies and I have like three bags of these soft mints <laughs> I love them just make sure there's nothing in there so this I was just talking about in my whipping chat, which isn't um, up right now. It's uploading, so um, by the time you guys see this, hopefully um, you will maybe see my whipping chat. Um, but let me try to find this item so I can give you the correct price. Oh, it should be on my um, my sheet. I'm looking on the website okay okay we're back in business okay so this is crafty creations by ellie beautiful business card i'm gonna keep this in my stash thank you for your order tag us on social media here's the tag and the etchy shop um www um link i'm not gonna flip it around there's a uh they um uh, a 10% off code for me to use the next time I purchase $30 or more. So I'm going to save that nice little coupon for a rainy day. I ordered a new tray. This looks 3D printed. I'm assuming this is 3D printed because this looks like my 3D printed um, pen that I ordered. I don't own any trays with lids, so this is a first. I was telling you guys in the whipping chat, well, I'll mention it again. This is a multi-placer tray. You see how there's, it's like a grid, it's not just straight lines. It's multi, it groups them together, I think in twos, threes, fours and maybe even five this might be five or four um she says it works with rounds i asked if i emailed her and asked her if it works with rounds 
Um, she says it works for both rounds and squares. So we're going to put that to the test today um, while I'm working on all my ladies, my vacation lady um, whips, um, because I have been multi-placing like crazy. It does, it doesn't have a spout, but it does have a little hole to pour the diamonds out of. And it looks like we have two. Let me see if this is the same. Yes. So she sent me an extra, um, what do you call this? A little plug for the hole. And be careful. This is like a, what is this, an octagon? And a little heart. I'll probably keep the heart on there. That's the cutest one. Ooh, I'm just clumsy, aren't I? And it does come. Apparently, you're supposed to be able to put the, tr I think from what I understood, I think this is the tutorial I saw. You're supposed to be able to slide the tray on, take the plug out, and shake everything without it you know, being the, having it open and exposed and maybe drills collapsing to the side. You have, you have the lid on and it all comes out the hole. I think that's absolutely wonderful. I don't know if that's hers or somebody else's. I think this is what the whole point of her tray. Um, I think this is a logo. Well, this is really beautiful. I ordered the pink. Super shiny. I absolutely love it. I am so very excited about this because I am a multi-placing queen. Sorry, you guys. I, I, I'm looking at the watermelon. I need to eat it. When the watermelon is extra red and pink and really dark, it's the best, if you don't know that already. And I bought a whole watermelon, and I let it sit for like three day, three extra days at my house, even though it sat at the store for quite some time. I cracked it open today. It was so dark. It looked so good, and it tastes wonderful. So I'm very excited about my new tray. I will be reviewing this. I'm going to do some test runs today working with it. And then we will do a review video. We will also do a review video at the same time of Putty Ella Mud. We're going we're gonna to test out the unicorn farts today on some canvases. And we'll see how that goes. I got to put this little knob somewhere before I lose it. Or my ferrets steal it. All right, let's get into the diamond painting, shall we? How about a little sip of coffee? Okay. I already have my AliExpress orders up. I'm going to start with her first. I already... It, they were taped. I took the tape off. I unbagged them. I threw all that away. I didn't want all that unnecessary garbage around. Except for these. I keep getting these. And these are so bulky in the garbage. Are you supposed to recycle these? I don't know. So right off the bat, the canvas I have in my hands is very soft and velvety. It's probably going to take little to no effort to straighten it out once it sits under other canvases now here's a funny little no not even funny here's a little s quick story time about this particular canvas I'm about to show you you guys this canvas I am waiting on the same exact canvas except it is full crystal it is one of the crystal ones I'm probably going to be giving away to one of you guys um, I found her in regular drills. So I got the same painting that I am, it's it's in the lost package that the post office, um, delivery service, AliExpress, I don't know. Somebody lost my package. The package with 11 canvases. This canvas, this exact same canvas is full crystal lost in the mail. <laughs> So I found it in regular solid drills, which I'm so happy because now I get to do the canvas that I've been dying to do, but I get to do in regular drills and not crystal because we already know after the crystal one I just tried how I feel on crystal, on faces at least, on people and probably animals. I just don't think crystal looks, it just doesn't look right. Um, 
has 29 colors, 30 by 40, kind of looks like a 40 by 30, but um, 30 by 40. Um, it's very faded looking, but she's like a tulip girl. Let me see if I can get her up close. She's like a tulip girl. Do we have an inventory sheet? We do. And there are ABs in here. Less glare. Look how gorgeous with those tulips around her and around her crown. Really, really pretty. I, I can't wait to work her out. Maybe she'll be my fifth canvas this week. I, I should have had this painting a long time ago, but then I wouldn't have done it anyway because it was crystal. So, uh, right off the bat, we have 666R. So, the cherry red ABs. 602R, hot pink ABs. There's a lot of them in there, so hopefully we're incorporating ABs everywhere. And 798R, some blue ABs really really pretty and I paid nine dollars and 32 cents for her if you want the link to her or the collection that she is in just message me in this video and uh, I will do my very best to get you links um, cause I, I just don't go I'm, I just don't go crazy putting links in the description box when I try to add things to the description box from my phone it freezes up and it keeps stopping and it turns off the website so I have to add them after the fact that the video is loaded so that by the time it gets to that point I just forget to do it all together so if you want links just um, message me in the video and, and let me know which one and um, I will do my very best to get you links mm. I hope you guys saw her. I don't know if I ever get a whole canvas in the in the shot. So there's her head. And there's the tulips. She's got leaves for like a shirt. Really, really pretty. Of course, for these two, we got typical toolkits with large plates of wax, cheap tweezers, and baggies. Okay, here's the other one. I already took the tape off and you know while I'm doing this let me have another bite of watermelon okay guys so if you can already see it in the shot it's 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 rainbow vibes again I got another rainbow girl Yes, I did. There's some of the Rainbow Girls are really pretty and some of them don't look that great. So I went for the prettier ones, or at least what I thought was pretty. You can't tell in the picture, in the canvas, what she is because it just it looks like an inverted image. 30 colors, 4 ABs. So excited about that one. And we do have an inventory sheet, so let me show you the picture on the inventory sheet since there's no plastic on it. Show you what we are looking at. Look at that blue beauty. Love her hair. I miss my hair being like that. But I'm, I just don't miss the damage. <laughs> so gorgeous kind of ABs that we got. Let's see if we can dig them out without making a mess. Seven nine eight again. R six 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 R again. We got an eight twenty R a deeper blue AB, and we got a lime green AB. That's gonna look super pretty. Nine oh seven R. If you guys, I I just say the codes just in case some of you are really um, if you have really took, taken the time to memorize <laughs> DMC codes. So, I know we can never tell. We never get a pretty canvas. Uh, there is 
again she's i think she's gonna be just like the rainbow girl we did for august empowerment um tons of color blocking and i love that because she's gonna be a really quick workup who knows maybe i won't do the flower lady maybe i'll do her because she'll be so quick to do so there's only a little bit of confetti here and there and they they take the color blocking and they they kind of try to confetti it but it's it's straight color blocking but it looks good and it's probably gonna look very blended i i can't wait i'm super excited let me tell you a price so i paid eight dollars and eleven cents for her apparently i think i also paid um shipping on her so i paid total for 12.25 for the rainbow girl uh, I paid a total of $9.74 for the flower tulip lady, um, which means I probably didn't pay shipping on her because she was around, she was $9. Usually when they're $9 and up, very rarely do I see shipping added on to them, um, just tax. Um, but anything $8 and under, more than likely on AliExpress, you're going to have shipping on it, I'm sorry, but um, which I've told you guys before. Hold on, taking a bite. I'm trying to chew fast without biting my tongue because I'm notorious for doing that. Okay, so why I have you guys here, we're going to do some quick reviews. I'm going to flip that around. That's the triplets. I'm not ready to reveal them yet. Is this all of them? I can't find all of them. Okay. First review. Mary Mud. I got the samples. I There are supposed to be four of them. I don't know what I did my fourth one. It's probably in my drawer somewhere. I got Sagittarius, Pisces, Taurus, and I also got the Gemini. Um, if you go on the website right now, her shop is taking a break. She is regroup, regrouping. Um, I believe she's making more product. Um, and I think they'll be back on Saturday. But they're going to email me when they come back because I, I want larger sizes. Um, considering that I complain so much about putty and being heavy handed and getting out on my canvas, which no matter what putty I use, it gets all over my canvas. I'm just accepting that at this point and I'm just, I'm letting it go to God because I just don't care anymore. Um, putty has been, aside from getting on my canvas, has been less of a headache than glue dots. It picks up my diamond, it places down my diamond, it doesn't stick. Once in a while, if I put too much putty considering that this is a little on the softer side which i probably could put it in the fridge but i don't want stiff putty um if i load up too much in my pen and i'm using an ab for instance then i might get that stringy pull but it doesn't happen multiple times it's a very quick fix um i've had no i mean yes it sticks to my canvas every so often um but I'm not a really a person that cares so much anymore. <laughs> um, you know, nobody's coming to my house to look at my diamond paintings up close and personal. So, I love them. The scents smell wonderful. Um, I keep, see I've already dug into, I mean they're sample sizes, they're not that big. Um, but I keep it open with the, the piece of uh, wax paper on top of it. Um, but I keep it open because I keep digging in for more to reload and and let me tell you you guys um, I could smell it from my pen I can smell it from the open wax just sitting out on the table these smell absolutely heavenly I love them um, I love strong smells and they're strong and I can smell them while working on my diamond painting just coming off my pen um, I love, I think that's how a scented putty, that's the whole purpose of a scented putty. You know, you shouldn't only just smell it while you're loading your pen. I mean, I, I like the fact that I can smell it while I'm working on my diamond painting. It's so pleasant. So, this is a 10 out of 10 for me. I love these. I highly suggest if you're into putty, go over to Etsy and go see Mary Mud. 
Um, she does sometimes have samples for cheaper, and then she's got larger sizes for, you know, a couple bucks more. Um, got to my house fairly quick. I did place another order for some more samples. She had some other scents in samples, so I, I uh, nabbed those too. So those are on their way to my house also. Love them, love them, love them. I can't recommend them more. I am extremely pleased with these, and I will be using them up. I've been alternating between canvases which ones I'm using. Okay. The tweezers. The six pack of tweezers. I'm not going to get the whole six pack. They're tucked away. Um, this is the one I've been working with. I keep it covered just in case it drops on the floor. I don't want my animals to get poked. Um, I've been working with these tweezers since yesterday. Um, you know, for the price I paid, which wasn't that much money, I, you know, and considering they're from Amazon, I think they're great. I love that they're pink. I love that I get different sizes, and I love that I get a curved one. This has been great for yanking putty out of my single and multi-placer. I absolutely love it. Um, was a good buy. I highly suggest them. Um, and they have, and you don't even have to go with the pink ones. They had multicolored um, tweezers. They have black tweezers, silver tweezers. They have so many tweezers. Um, don't don't sleep on Amazon tweezers. Um, your tweezers don't have to be from Diamond Art Club in order for you to get a good pair of tweezers to work for diamond paintings. You can find some good ones on Amazon for cheaper and get it in a day or two. You don't have to wait all week. So, 10 out of 10 for me. Highly recommend. Um, oh. Let's bring this over. Remember this organizer? It currently has two paintings in it. Um, and I know which one is which because I, I uh, kind of label them in my own special way. <coughs> but I'm able to get 30 colors in each kit in, into both sides. Um, I am very used, I have grown very spoiled with these boxes um, because they are deep and they are wide so to pour, I hold my hand like this and tap with my pen to get it in. It is so much easier to get diamonds back into these and less of a hassle. I'm still getting used to these little cylinders. You know, I can get the spout in there and hold my hand over it and tap, tap, tap. So I haven't had too much of a problem, no spillage. Other than that, it's considering it's from Timu and I didn't pay that much money for it. I think I'd be 12 bucks for this. I think you guys, 12 or $15. Um, it's a great buy. If you like the cylinders, you'll love these. They're great quality. They're not breaking, they're not chipping. You know, I, I'm constantly um, t twisting them open, and so far nothing has cracked. Everything is doing um, superb. Um, so would I buy this again? I would. I would probably buy another one so I can kit up an extra two kits. I might even buy, I think there was one with 120 jars in it. I might even invest in that one. Then again, I may just buy another 54 of these. <laughs> um so it depends if you like the cylinders these work out these are a great alternative to some other companies out there that charge an arm and a leg you can get it on timu you guys um really really great um buy now my last my last um thing i want to review one's a gift this was a gift this hot pink all these I purchased from Amazon. These are the Scotch brand washi tapes. Guys, I love these washi tapes. Now that I have these washi tapes, I don't want to use them on my cheaper washi tapes at all. I love them. They sparkle so much, and you can rub your finger against them and get no glitter on you. It does not shed glitter, so if you stay away from glittery things, but you like glittery things because you just don't want glitter on your hands and all over your table, do not be afraid of these because they do not shed. I have them up on my wall. I don't have glitter on my bed. Um, I rub my hands on them, and there's no glitter. Same thing with this one. Great. 
and there's so much on the roll you can do multiple paintings with these it's not like the typical washi tape roll where you get like one painting out of this <laughs> um, I'm gonna get multiple paintings out of these and I'm super excited about that um, great buy um you can find these i bought these off of amazon this one was a gift from crafty chef diamond thank you again girl i love it you got me hooked um but i bought the rest of them from amazon they are on the little bit more pricier side the bigger the bundles the pricier they get but you know what in in my opinion you know i don't like spending money well i like spending money i don't like spending lots of money on small items and and not a large quantity of stuff um but for three packs i paid like six, five and six dollars for a three pack of scotch washi tape and i think it's well worth the money because they do so well they haven't been lifting once i stick them down they're nice and flat and they they just they lay flush with the canvas they're wonderful absolutely great buy if you're in the market for some new washi tape so guys I think that's all I had to say and now I can get back to diamond painting my ladies I hope you enjoyed today's haul our small shop haul our Aliexpress haul and our reviews that we did I normally don't do reviews I usually just show you what I get and then it's and that's it um, but I'm going to try to do more reviews on products, small shop products and stuff like that on this channel because I'm, I'm growing increasingly obsessed. <laughs> so, if you are new here and you're enjoying my contact, content, um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell uh, just so you get notifications whenever I put up a new video so you don't miss any content. If you are returning, thank you for returning and watching my videos. You are so much very appreciated. I, I love and adore you guys. You're so wonderful in this community. So without further ado, I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you are. Keep enjoying your summer and I will catch you in the next video. Bye now.